Hello, guys and gals, and this is the, um, sorry, this is the weekly writing challenge. And, um, this is week 52 of the weekly writing challenge, which means that it's been an entire year since I started this. Anyways, so, but as always, we're going to go over the previous, the previous weeks, and then end off with the current week, or actually the challenge for next week, so, well, actually this week. I'm used to making this on Sunday before the week starts, but technically Sunday is the first day of the week, but I think most people, I usually consider it the last day of the week, because, um, I don't know. Anyways, it's all semantics. Now, um, it's more just basic, my, basically my interpretation of um, where the, the sequence of the weeks, I consider Monday the first day of the week. So anyways, um, the writing challenge for week one was create a setting, be as detailed or vague as you like, and we do have a playlist of all of these. So, um, yeah, there's that. It's somewhere on my YouTube channel. Anyways, week two was create two characters, be as detailed or vague as you like, and week three was create one final character, either a hero or a villain, be as detailed or vague as you like. Week four... Create a time period. Any time period will do. Any technology level will do. Be as detailed or vague as you like. Week 5 was create one interaction between two characters. It doesn't need to be canon to the story. Number 6 is create a climate or weather situation, i.e. a sandstorm, snowstorm, rainstorm, etc. Week 7 was look out one of your windows and describe what you see. Week 8 was describe your favorite food. Week 9 was describe your favorite mythical or fantastic creature. Week 10 was describe your favorite dinosaur. Week 11 was describe your ideal vacation. Um, writing challenge for week 12 was describe your favorite season. Week 13, describe your favorite beverage. Week 14, for me it was, um, it's whipped strawberry rockstar. Boom, I believe. Anyways, writing challenge for week 14 was describe your favorite non-fantastic animal. Week 15 was if you could visit any country, which one would you visit? Week 16 was our 50 subscriber special. Describe something you're thankful for, and I believe that that was around Christmas of last year. Anyways, writing challenge for week 17 was describe one of your hobbies. Week 18 was describe one of your New Year's resolutions. Week 19, describe your dream job. Week 20, describe your favorite genre of video game. Week 21 is if you had a magical toolbox, I would always have one tool inside it. It would never be lost. Which tool would it be? I think I said the sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who. Rank challenge for week 22 was if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Week 23 is describe your favorite holiday. Week 24 is describe your favorite superhero. Week 25 was if you could open a restaurant, what would you sell? Week 26, if you could form a band, what kind of music would you play? Week 27 was if you could write an epic story, what would it be about? Probably not the same plot as Epic Movie. Not to be confused with the kids' movie, Epic Movie. This was the spoof movie. Anyways, writing challenge for week 28 was if you could change one event in the past, would you? Um, that is the week 29, whose answers are right here. Rank challenge for week 29 was if you could draw or design a logo that would represent your life, what would it look like? Okay. Uh, week 30 was if you could build your... If you could build your... Oh, sorry. There. If you build your dream house, what would you build? Week 31 was if you could tame any animal, either normal or fantastic, which would you tame? Week 32 was if you could learn any language and speak it proficiently, which language would you learn? Week 33 is if you could meet one historical figure, who would it be and why? Um, if you could manipulate DNA and create a perfect fruit, what flavors would you combine? And that is week 34. Week 35 is if you could transform into any animal, which animal would it be? Week 36 is if you could start an animal rescue program, which animals would you rescue and why? Um, please hold just a sec. I see. It was week 33 that was our 75 subscriber special. I couldn't remember, and so I had to denote that. Anyways, um, where were we? Ah, oh, 
Sorry, I got ahead of myself. Rank challenge for week 36 was if you could start an animal rescue program, which animals would you rescue and why? Week 37 was describe an ideal setting for a scary story. Week 38 is if you could explore any planet, which would you visit? Week 39, if you could own any car or vehicle, which one would it be and why? Week 40 was describe your favorite fruit and why? Week 41, describe your favorite color and why? Week 42, what is your favorite genre of movie and why? Week 43 was if you could live in any time period, which one would you live in and why? Week 44 is if you could discover a constellation, what, what would it be and what would you name it? Week 45 is if you could be someone else for a day, would you? If so, then who? If not, then why? Week 46 is if you could open a portal to another dimension, what would it be like? Besides probably collapsing time itself and, and creating a black hole that would probably destroy the entire dimension. Anyways, number 47 was if you could make a comic book, what would it be about? Um, uh, week 48 is if you could take a cruise ship to anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Week 49 was if you, could visit a video, uh, if you could visit a video game world, would you, and which one? Um, and the, the previous weeks, or two weeks ago, it was, this is week 50, if you could get a definitive answer on, to one question, what question would you ask? And week 51, that's, this is the current one, the one for last week. Describe the ideal setting for a fantasy story. Now, okay, this is really, really interesting because there could be several. I mean, fantasy stories remind me of more medieval swords and sorcery, medieval castles, that kind of thing. But, well, that, that is good for a fantasy setting. One with knights and princesses and stuff like that. Um, but fantasy could also go into the realm of mythical creatures, so... You could also say a, a mythical forest, or even a forest in general, because they are pretty mythical places. Um, they have an air of mystery about them. Um, it could be a setting similar to um, Maleficent 2, I would say, which is basically the same setting as Maleficent 1, just a couple years in the future. And that was a mythical forest that was inhabited by fairies and you know, mythical creatures and stuff. I don't I don't know if there were unicorns there or not. I don't remember. I really need to watch the Maleficent series again. I think I have both Maleficent 1 and Maleficent 2, but I'm not sure. Anyways, um, so yeah. I know that in World of Warcraft, they had several areas that were really, really attuned to fantasy. Um, one of them was a little Easter egg that I stumbled upon. I don't know if I actually researched it or not. But there was this fairy ring, what they call the fairy ring, I think. And um, if you went there at a certain time, then fairy dragons would show up and then they would do a ritual. It was really, really weird. And to my knowledge, it didn't really have anything to do with um, any in-game event or anything. It was just something I found while I was flying around. Um, and druids could teleport there if you gave them a certain, you know, they could teleport around using a special power. And that was one of the places they could teleport. But anyways, so fantasy settings. Um, something um, probably medievally, you know, like castles and knights and stuff like that. That would be kind of like in Guinevere by Sharon Newman. Um, it is on the, it is on my channel if you want to, you know, it, it, she writes, um, Sharon Newman writes, um, historical fantasy, I believe. Really, really good author. Um, plus she gave me her blessing and let me read her book on my YouTube channel. Really appreciate that. Still amazed at that. Because it's such a good book, and it's a book I found quite by accident. But anyways, so for a fantasy setting, I usually refer back to that, because to me it's one of the best fantasy novels around. Um, I consider um, Catherine Lance's book, Pandora's Genes, to be more of a sci-fi 
more of a sci-fi book than, like, say, fantasy. Um, so, uh, yeah. But anyways, but yeah, the perfect setting, I feel, for a fantasy story would be a mythical forest, a fantasy forest, you know. So, um, anyways, there's that. I would say that. Anyways. Now, this is the current one, and this one is kind of a long one, so we're going to still say it three times. The Rank Challenge for Week 52, which is next week, is, not to be confused with Fallout 52, or whatever it's called, I'm maybe even thinking of 75, 79, 60, I don't remember, oh, 76, that was it. But anyways, the, week, the weekly Rank Challenge for Week 52 is, if you had to live somewhere else for an entire year, but you could choose where, then where would you live and why? So basically, the idea is, I'm just going to go over the concept once, and then we'll go over this two more times. If you, either by choice or by force, had to live somewhere else for an entire year, but you got to choose where, then where would you live? So that's basically that, the concept. So I'm going to say this again. If you had to live somewhere else for an entire year, but you could choose where, then where would you live and why? And ideally, it would be living somewhere where you don't live now. And so ideally, you could um, basically live wherever you wanted to for an entire year. the With no stipulations, no fees, no storms, no inclement weather. Uh, just um, if cost was no object. So, that's it. And we're going to go over it one final time. If you had to live somewhere else for an entire year, but you could choose where, then where would you live and why? And that's going to do it for this video, I believe. Um, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you, know when I, so you know when I upload. We are at 99 of 100 subscribers, so it would be really nice to hit 100. Then I could kick off a two-week celebration. But anyways, with all that being said, um... I really want to earn the the subscribers and not just, you know, just say, hey, subscribe, because you should. I want people to subscribe because they enjoy the content, not because, not because, um, you know, of coercion or anything like that. Um, I realize that the majority of the people who watch my channel are not subscribed, which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, I think people should subscribe to channels that they enjoy the content on, and so um, I don't really try. I don't really push it. I mean, like I do say, oh, please subscribe, like and subscribe, but that's basically out of habit. Anyways, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the con uh, ring the bell so you know when I when I ask so you know when I upload. Also, if you support me in any way, or if you want to join the Discord server, all the information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.